Hello guys, and welcome back. Well, as I promised last time, I promised to do a follow-up on this 80 watt laser that I bought from China. Uh, now, I've got it temporarily hooked up here. I do have a bracket here that I mounted, and it's, and it's mounted pretty well. I got the power supply for that, and I've got a separation module for the uh, PWM. Now I've got to come back and clean all these wires up. Obviously I've got to do some soldering and some heat shrink and a little bit of better cable management, but um, I got it running and I just wanted to show you guys what this laser can do. I'll put a link to this thing if you're interested in buying one of these, but uh, I bought it off of Amazon. Um, it came from China, like I said. It, it showed up in two weeks. I was surprised. They told me it would be about a month and a half, but it showed right up. The shipping was fabulous. Um, and they, uh, they did not send this separation board with it. Uh, I had some difficulty at first because I didn't have this board when I first wired this up. Uh, I, couldn't get it, I couldn't get it to work at all. So I got this separation board. Uh, they actually sent me one. Um, it didn't, didn't include, it wasn't included with the laser, but they were kind enough to send me one. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that link uh, as to where I bought it. Now, the thing is pretty impressive, I gotta tell you. Uh, my only issue right now is I've got Mach 3 programmed and everything works pretty well. Uh, however, I'm not certain in Mach 3 how to change the power settings in this. Uh, it basically comes on full blast. Um, I haven't yet figured out how to, how to reduce that power. Uh, I've got, I've got uh, a JTEC uh, post-processor on there. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got to do some more investigating and um, figure out how to work the power. And let us know you guys got some suggestions. That'd be great. Uh, but I'm going to run this program. Uh, I'll run a little program here. I'll show you how fast this thing will spit out some burns for uh, the word laser. Uh, and then we'll cut that out on another program. I'll cut it out. I'll cut a box out around it. And it'll cut right through this poplar. This poplar, this is quarter inch poplar, and it'll blast right through that, no problem whatsoever. I haven't yet figured out how much, how thick a board I can I can do with this, but I'm sure it'll do at least a half inch. Uh, I'm pretty confident of that. Uh, this is an amazing little uh, uh, laser. One of the most powerful little guys I've seen on the market yet. Um, but. Anyways, let me uh, let me burn this let me burn this for you. I get my laser glasses on, uh, and I'll get this program going, and uh, we'll show you what happens. All right, here we go. Ah, so I got the wrong program up, but uh, you'll see you'll, you can see it. Uh, it'll burn right through this. Um, do first all right let me let me shoot this silver here we go Speaking of the power, it's actually burning right through right now. You can see some reflection down in here. That's actually burning right through that. As fast as this is going right now, that's actually burning right through that. Um, now, I'll, I'll put that square back in and uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll show you that thing. We'll cut that right out with no problem. Um, there we go. I'm going to, I'll slow this down. Slow this laser down to about 40%. And we'll go from there. See it cutting right through down there now. It's actually burning right through it. Now I've still got to play with this thing and figure it out. This is this is like the second time I've done this since I had it running. So we'll uh, we'll play with it some more. We'll get some height settings and whatnot the focus settings and hopefully I'll figure out the, the power to this uh, these settings as well and I don't have any air blowing on it right now either so it's uh, it chars a little bit Well, here you go. Did a nice clean burn with the with the letters here, and it burned right through this quarter inch poplar. That's not bad at all. I suppose uh, I can play with it and figure out some uh, different settings for this. But all in all, that's pretty impressive. I'm really impressed with this little guy. Uh, like I say, it's 80 watt. And, uh, you know, I'm going to play with this thing some more. And, you know, we'll go from there. Well, thanks, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And um, certainly, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to uh, email me um, or post, post your uh, question underneath the uh, video. That'd be great. And, um, you know, a like, and a, a like button would be nice, too, if you don't mind doing that. Um, you know, um, well, I appreciate you all watching. So, uh, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.